Well, it's after lunch in this uh, workshop with the Amplified Group in uh, Leicester, and uh, now not talking about Leicester, but talking about Chelmsford, um, because uh, we've had um, Claire Wright, we've had uh, Malcolm Noble um, from Chelmsford, and uh, Claire Riley from the uh, RSA, giving them um, a briefing about uh, Chelmsford. So. What's the challenge that you've, you've given them to think about? Well, what's the RSA uh, fellows trying to do in Chelmsford? And, and consequently, what's the challenge that uh, we've passed over to Leicester here? The RSC initiative in Chelmsford is to try to bring together representative groups of business, the public authorities, third sector, voluntary organisations, to talk to each other about the future shape of the character and culture uh, of the town. And what we try to do here is to say to people, well, we've given you some information about Chelmsford. We said what the issues are, what's the good things about Chelmsford, what are the problems in Chelmsford. How does that compare with a very different Leicester city that, that, that they live and work in? Uh, what are the similarities? What are the differences? How would you think, from your experience, we might uh, address some of the issues we've got? In particular, the ways in which we could use social media, use te new technologies to engage people and conduct that conversation. That's terrific. And Claire, is this the sort of initiative RSA generally hopes that fellows might be interested in taking up in their towns and cities? I mean, we, we are, you know, what we're trying to do in Chelmsford is, is a new thing for us, and we are really keen to, to document everything that we've done and, and, and get it all out kind of on the internet for, for other fellows to look at, because it's, it's something easy that, that other fellows can pick up and run with in other places like you're doing in Leicester, you know, we want this happening all over the country. Right, well, let's go and see how people are yep. getting on. Can I just can I just check in what, what you're focusing on what you're focusing on now? We've sorted out the problem is that Chelmsford is really Cheltenham. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, Chelmsford is really Cheltenham. Ben's fault, it's moved to Gloucester. People keep yeah. saying Cheltenham when they're trying to say Chelmsford. All oh, right, okay. That's the problem. Oh, that's that's the identity. It's, 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 it's a Middle England identity crisis, yeah. yeah all right. Yeah, yeah. And they can sort it all out by having a Chelm. I. <laughs> <laughs> I could rename it. It's a new name. A lot, a lot of what we're discussing is why, why change at all? Why does Chelmsford need to change? It yeah. sounds great from Leicester, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does actually. Yeah. Well, because it's, it's from nice what you've said, it's got diverse opinions about what the city should be. But then cities are, do have diverse opinions. You're not going to get everybody going in the same yeah. direction. So why try? So you may you may uh, punt them back at them. <laughs> okay, we'll see what this group's doing over here. <laughs> can, I, can I just chip in and ask what this group's tackling? Uh, we're uh, looking about um, potential retention of students. So you've got a large student population, but I think there's a sense that they don't, they're not retained. They're probably the, you've got a, such a massive centre of gravity in London that people are kind of drawn away. And it's whether if you keep those people in, will, will that make Chelmsford a bit more edgy and creative and innovative? All right. Can I, can I just check in what this group's talking about? Yeah, um, we are trying to work out what it is that the city, I keep calling it city, it's a town, what the town wants. Um, and the role of the civic society, how we could use the role of them to harness the community, govern or help or involve the community in possible future changes like new homes and things, things like that and make it a bit more of an um, interesting place. Right, and this is beginning to take, sh take shape. Without the core of it, how to re revitalise a traditional society, a traditional civic society or other societies that are there. Great.